Hello and welcome to the Proyaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 29, Walking Home. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. A couple of weeks ago, Gibson's son asked about how often runs were given up by the pitchers walking in or hitting batters, a term known as oshidashi in Japanese. Now, this is a very interesting question. It can't be very many, right? As you know, I'm apt to do by now. I crunch the numbers, and I was surprised to find that there have been 74 Oshidashi so far this season, up to and including Friday, July 12, 2013. Was there something about the date? John asked the question. Well, that was July 2nd. Let's see. Sure enough, there were three Oshidashi on that day. There's nothing too telling about Chunichi's Takahashi walking Hiroshima's Kikuchi. Oryx's Kaneko walked Seibu's Hermon as the first run of the game in the second inning at Osaka Kyosera Dome, but that was quickly answered by Oryx. Nothing special there. Ah, Hanshin's Ryo Watanabe walking giant substitute Soichiro Tateoka to score Kazunari Sanematsu in the top of the 11th inning at Koshien turned out to be the game decider. That must be what aroused his curiosity. What else can we extract from this? Well, let's see. Categorize by play, and okay, pretty much all of them are, are walks until we get to the bottom here where we have five batters hit by pitches that brought runners home. Oshidashi dead balls. Now, I noticed that all five of them were on fastballs that got away from the pitchers. So, I believe that we determined that most plays are decided on fastballs a while back. So if we now categorize by pitch type, we find that 51 straights confirms that it uh, pretty much holds true that a fastball is the most likely deciding pitch, and here it is with walking runners in as well. There have only been a couple of cutters resolving in Oshidashi. Twelve sliders, four shoots, uh, two curves, two change-ups, and Lotte's Nishino walked Nippon Ham's Obiki to allow the only run of the game for Nippon Ham on June 23rd. Lotte did manage to come back and win that game 2-1. The pitch type does follow what I remember of the distribution of deciding pitches, so I can't really say that there's anything terribly surprising with the pitch type. Now, finally, to put things into context a little better, I quickly ran how often different results occurred with the bases loaded. The results show that one is about three times more likely to walk in a run than to hit it a grand slam. And odds are pretty even when it comes to hitting a sacrifice fly. So, is there anything in particular that you noticed? A link to the spreadsheet will be available on Google Drive, and uh, a link, of course, will be down below in the show notes on either the ProYaku community on Google Plus or at the Bayside West Yokohama blog on JapaneseBaseball.com. Please feel free to drop any other comments about this show or potential future shows that you may want at one of those two places to make sure that I can see it. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. Coming up this week, between July 18th and the 23rd, will be the Japan All-Star Break. That 
composed of six days, during which three All-Star games in the series will be played. And speaking of All-Stars, John and Jim get together again on Monday, July 15th, with this week's Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast. This week, Jim has a talk with Hiroshima's closer, Cameron Mikolio. Also planned for the discussion are topics such as Makun's winning streak, Otani's headshot, and the upcoming All-Star Series. You can find the podcast on the Japan Baseball Daily blog at JapaneseBaseball.com. And I usually post a link at the ProYaku community on Google+. You can kind of see where I tend to hang out socially on the internet. Also coming up next weekend is the third quarterly Tokyo Sabre meeting to be held at the restaurant Shiba no Tori Daiichi in Tokyo. If you are interested at all in attending and are not a member, please send me a note to westbaystars at markjapanesebaseball.com and I'll fill you in on a little more details on what it includes and how to get there. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaki Report. Thank you for joining me. Until next week, take care.